Welcome to the K-Bell Close-Up with Mark Vane. Our Close-Up crew features this week, Michael Pollock. We made your motion, we're going to uh, have him do the clean last uh, theme for us. This will be a new sneak preview video on MTV. And we got to you guys first, so here you go. What, what's your name, by the way? David West. David West, who do we have over here? Karen Maxson. Right, nice to meet you. Thanks a lot. Here we go. Clean your last name. Colonial House is another unique MAP community. MAP stands for Michael A. Pollock. I'd now like to introduce to you Mr. Michael Pollock. Well, I'm glad you all picked me to be on one of your first shows. Sure, thank you. Um, we were curious, how did you get involved in Colonial House and what brought you to Houston? Well, I guess that's kind of a two-part question, so I'll take it in two parts. Uh, first of all, Colonial House, well, first of all, I should say I got to Houston about four years ago part-time and then came to Houston really full-time made the commitment to move here uh, about two years ago. Colonial House uh, was an opportunity that I saw, and it was, and still is, one of the largest projects in the nation. Uh, it was the largest renovation or redevelopment project ever undertaken, and it was completed in about 82 days, which is a record for the United States. So it's really been exciting. And exciting is the word. Colonial House offers a complete videotape library to the residents. In addition, a game room for fun and billiards. While close by, you'll find a weight and fitness room. After a hearty workout, tasty snacks are always at hand. Well, almost always. What other developments in Houston have you been involved in? Well, I've done a lot of other work in Houston. I've done a 552 unit, a 400 unit, a 94 unit, a 308 unit, 355 unit, a 450 unit, and a few others. Those I remember off the top of my head, though. Here at Deuces Exxon, if you look closely, the outline of the Colonial House Manor is visible in the distance. But look closely. Here with Theodore. Theodore, how is it working near the Colonial House? It's pretty good. I like it. Uh... It's uh, something that uh, this neighborhood is so off about, and uh, uh, it uh, really has upgraded the neighborhood. It's a great neighborhood. Have you ever been to the Colonial House or seen any of the wonderful uh, activities they have going on over there? Uh, not personally, but I had uh, employees that used to live over there, and uh, it's, it really has made a difference for the past few months. Would you live at Colonial House if you had the chance? Uh, no, I like it at my house better. So. All right, thank you very much. Mike, what's the average age of the tenants? Demographics or age group really at, uh, at Colonial House, I guess you'd have to say, would be about 20 years old to whatever, but I guess the average age here is probably about 25. I'm Michael Pollack, and I'd like to personally invite you to see the all-new Colonial House Apartments, where I've created an exciting new lifestyle in beautiful Southwest Houston. Move today to the Colonial House Apartments and receive a free video recorder. Ma'am, are, uh, are you a resident of Colonial House? Mm-hmm. Yes, what's your name? Kim Miller. Kim Miller. How long have you lived here? Um, about three months. Did you get a free video recorder when you moved in? Yes, sir, I did. It was a nice video recorder. Uh, do you like Colonial House? Do you, have, do you have a good time living here? It was very fun. To do. What are some of the activities they have here? Aerobics, they have tanning booths, they have parties every Friday, um, beautiful grounds, nice swimming pools and jacuzzis. They have real nice people that work here. We have some questions about your commercials. Are the tenants uh, in the commercials or are these people actors? Well, the majority of the people, believe it or not, are residents here at Colonial House. There are some professional actors and actresses in the commercials, though. How do you come up with the commercials? Well, I have either dreams or nightmares, sometimes I'm not sure which, and usually those dreams or nightmares become commercials, and that's pretty much uh, the way we do it. We just kind of think about it and do it. 
How did you come up with the idea of the lady lifting the video recorder out of the pool? It's an interesting question. Um, I've never seen it done before, and it worked really, really well in the commercial. It definitely got people's attention, and people remember it. Even though that commercial hasn't been on the air probably for three, four weeks, people still talk about the commercial all the time because it was unique and it was different. And to be successful in life, in any business, you have to do something that's different, and you have to be unique, and you have to be yourself. And that commercial is definitely a reflection of the unique qualities of Colonial House. Hi, what's your name? My name is Big Larry. I'm the owner of Ramadilla Pest Control here on the grounds. And we uh, do all the pest control service here. And I'm proud to say that Michael Pollock has hired us to take care of all of his properties. And we are getting rid of the insects. And Colonial House is just a clean and livable place, including the health factor now. Great, thank you very much. Um, as a Houston celebrity, what else have you done? What else have I done? Uh, in the way of what? Just in the way of in the community or, you know, social, socially, what have you done? Well, I guess I've done all kinds of things. One of the things that I'm real proud of is here at Colonial House, we were very active in what's uh, known as the Covenant House or Second Step Program, which was Covenant House is a home for runaway kids. And we employed a lot of those kids, which was called Second Step. First step is to get them off the streets. And second step is to give them a trade or a skill and gainful employment. And we were very, very involved in that, and that's something that we did over the summer. Okay, yes, I, mean, I was curious about some of your involvement in the Houston Night Spots. We've heard you've worked on some contests and things and some other uh, social events. Can you give us some uh, descriptions of things you've done? Sure. I've been a celebrity judge at all kinds of shows and talent things, and recently I did the Miss Houston Monthly or the Miss Houston Pageant. I was the master of ceremonies for that, and that was a lot of fun. It was really enjoyable. Okay, we've heard a lot about the Dream Suite, and we were curious if you could tell us a little, about, tell us a little bit about it. Sure, the Dream Suite is a, an apartment that we use as a hospitality suite a lot at Colonial House. It's about 2,200 square feet. It features a fountain in the living room, a jacuzzi in one of the rooms, um, a bed that has stereo built into it, and it's a real nice suite. It's done extremely contemporary, and that's because I personally really like contemporary styling. We've heard so much about the Dream Suite, let's take a tour of it. First, the double kitchen of the Dream Suite. There are two sides of kitchens with equal appliances on each side. This is, this is also the wet bar side. This is a great place to entertain friends or just have an overall good time. Let's take a look in the refrigerator. Where's the beef? And uh, here we are in the lovely bedroom of the Dream Suite. This is the water bed and the bed with built-in stereo and you can see the speakers and the mirrors. Here we are in the famous jacuzzi room. This is just a great place to sit back, relax, wrap with your friends. It's my favorite room, really, of the uh, Dream Suite. This is the eagle, the symbol of Colonial House. I'm seated in front of the uh, fountain in the living room of the Dream Suite. This living room has a stereo and a uh, fountain with lights and it's a real nice touch. In the back you can see the flowers and the mirrors and uh, three elephants, I'm not sure what those are for. Plus there are mirrors around. And it's just a really nice room. This is one of my favorite rooms in the uh, Dream Suite. You have a very full schedule. We would like to know some things you do in your free time, some of your hobbies. Well, I don't get a lot of free time, but when I do, I guess I like to do a lot of the things that other people like to do. I don't have any hobbies as such. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but business and work and everything else have kind of taken over, and I don't get a lot of free time. I mean, I'll go to some of the night spots in Houston, I guess, when I have some free time, if there is such a thing. Okay, all the girls at Bel Air are asking the same question. Does Michael Pollock have a lady? Well, actually, he did up until about a two, week and a half, two weeks ago, and I guess my schedule was a little too demanding. So, uh, at the moment, I'd have to say no. Okay, good luck, girls. Um, what kind of pointers would you give a high school student who would like to achieve your success? I'd have to be very honest and say that there's no easy way out. All there is really is hard work, dedication, and goals, and the will to succeed. And if you're willing to do something and you want it bad enough, anybody can get it and anybody can obtain it. I mean, I started in business with $200 to my name and a name, and that's really all I had. And it was a long, it's been 12 and a half years for me since I got out of high school. Um, and 12, 12 and a half years later, it's been a long 12, 12 and a half years. It's 20 hour days, 24 hour days, just long days and nights. Hi, what's your name? My name is Blake Lindsay. I'm Michael Pollock's driver here. Michael, Michael's driver. Can you give us a little explanation of the limo here? Sure. This car here we uh, designed especially for Michael. I think you know that his favorite colors are black and white. 
Uh, it has a white Fleetwood De Elegance interior. Don't let me step in front of the camera here. Okay. It's got a white Fleetwood De Elegance interior with black piping and of course the famous video recorder down there. Color TV. Stereo. Uh, has two telephones. It's trimmed in 18 karat gold. It's black. Black vinyl top. Wow. Uh, yes. Uh, do you have any advice on students at Beller High School how they can get involved in the field of chauffeuring? Ah. Uh, well, that's a tough one. First of all, you have to find a good limousine service here in the city of Houston to work for. And uh, then be prepared to work long, hard hours. And be pretty devoted to the person that you work for. Thank you very much. And I, this is the biggest car I've ever seen in my life. What's next for Michael Pollack? Well, I think now what we're doing is we're starting to do quite a few other apartment communities around Houston. Uh, we've done apartment communities in Houston, we've done, in, done them in Arizona, we've done them in California, we've done them in Nevada, we've worked all over the country, really. And I think that our next game plan, or the next game plan for Michael Pollock Real Estate Investments, um, will be probably, we may consider going public, uh, tail end of 85. Um, there's a couple of movie things that I'm looking at right now that I'm considering. If they'll film in Houston, I may go forward and take the parts. Uh, they're real good parts. I really like it. They're, they're really exciting, but I just don't know. It depends on whether or not they need to shoot in California or whether they're going to shoot in Houston. All right, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure work talking with you today. Thank you. Glad to be sure. on the show. Sure. Okay, and uh, we, wish, we wish you the best of luck in the future. And as the sun sets on the Colonial House Manor, we leave the 5700 block of Gulfton. Bidding farewell to the man, Michael Pollock. Tune in again to the K-Bell Close-Up.